Hello? Hello, Nova. Hi. Oh, there you there are. There we go. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I don't have any earphones right now. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're good. Okay, perfect. perfect. Oh, well, I want to say thank you um, for um, just for the time. Of course. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an honor to speak with you today. Of course. I'm super excited. I like your backdrop a lot. It's... Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good distraction. Well, because I, uh, I run the magazine and I have a job. So, <laughs> like, I yeah. just go in my office so you can't see the back. So I put that when I do my interviews. <laughs> That's great. All right. Um, so I first saw you on TikTok. Cool. Um, and I just, you know, I, lo I love my, the reason why we have the magazine is because I love discovering. That is the most beautiful thing in the world, like, to find something um i do the i also do it with food like i go to just cool. find food and um and are you then, in la yeah um ventura la yeah so we we cover all southern california that's great where are you um, from which video did you find first do you uh, remember no because i just watched a bunch at first like when i first saw it it was acapella i was like hmm I like that. That's something different. That's something new. Um, and then I don't even know this. Like some of the songs I don't know. I'm not aware of. So, um, but I did watch all of them, especially your Pedro one. I thought that was. Thank you so much. You're right up my alley with the comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I started TikTok because I, um, I moved to the U.S. last year. I moved in, in, in May last year and I was singing a lot in my apartment complex. I was just singing like being so loud that my neighbors were complaining and I had to find somewhere else to sing. So I started just going down to the parking lot to, to sing there because the reverb was so nice and I just started filming it and then it blew up on TikTok like randomly and I just kept going. So it was really organic like that. That's sort of cool. Yeah. Um, so when you're, that's all right. Yeah. A, it's splintered off so much. Um, where are you originally from? Sweden. Oh, Stockholm. you're from Sweden? No I'm way. Swedish. Yeah. Yeah. So I grew up in Sweden in Stockholm. Um, I lived there my whole life and I started coming back and forth here to LA when I was like 13. So I've spent a lot of time here and, um, when I signed my my um, record deal with 300, that's when I was able to move out here last year. Nice, that's yeah. awesome. So, uh, so when you, how does your story begin? Let's go to like, your, um, did you always just have a, like a, a itch to, to perform or sing? Yeah, so my parents are musicians originally or um, professionally. And they were always just encouraging me to sing a lot and play instruments. Um, and I think music was always like available to me, which I'm really grateful for. Cause I think I just found like my purpose as a really young person. I just knew that music was what I wanted to do. Um, I played guitar, violin when I was four, um, piano. And I started singing when I found like Christina Aguilera and Mariah and Whitney and all these really, really iconic, amazing vocalists. And they really inspired me. And, and that's how I like got into singing. I just always loved performing and like being in the spotlight. And I just wanted to be like my parents because that's what they, they did. Yeah, that's strange. That's, that's awesome. That's an awesome story. Yeah. But you end up coming here. Mm -hmm. um, is this before your TikTok? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I'm, I started working with my manager when I was 12 um, in Sweden. And we, we, I was an artist in Sweden first and started doing things over there. Um, and then 
I, I signed with 300. I had a meeting with Kevin Lyles and it just fell into place. It, it, was, it was like one of those amazing moments and they gave me the opportunity to move out here. I just, um, because I can just see, like I, I, your new single, Girls Like Us, which is out, uh, I think it, yeah. maybe a week ago, it's been a yeah. week. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is very, it is awesome. It's a Thank good you. song. Thank you. I can feel you're like, mm -hmm. you're meant to do that. Like, yes. <laughs> you're just waiting for the opportunity. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. I think I've always like, I've always wanted to, to, to make music. It's not even like been a question for me. It's I've always just done it. Like I just always wrote songs. It was so natural to me. When, when you guys are creating this Girls Like Us, how much of it is you? So with Girls Like Us in particular, that was sent to me. Um, I was looking for really upbeat, um, really like fun, confident songs. And mm -hmm. I, I, I wrote Mi Amor, which I released before Girls Like Us. And I loved that song. And it was, it was such a like confident, fun, dancing moment for me. And I wanted to kind of keep that with this EP that I'm releasing soon. So Girls Like Us was sent to me and it was just one of those un undeniable songs that I was like, you can't not like bop your head to this. And it was really female empowering. So I just changed the lyrics um, and kind of put my own flavor to it. And that's how that song was made. It, it really is female empowering. Yeah. Uh, uh, for From a guy who has a daughter, like yeah. and hearing that song, I'm like, let's go. I yes. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important to to bring everyone together and especially during this. Like I just want girls my age to know that or girls in general to know that like they're not alone and we're in this together and they're awesome and beautiful and and we're going to get through it. Um how do you like LA? I like LA. I wanted to be here forever. Like ever since I came here, I was like this is awesome the weather is nice i think i'm i'm very open as a person so kind of like the culture and the people really suited me when i came here um so i mean it's a dream come true i have to kind of pinch myself every day when i wake up because i'm like I can't believe i'm here do you go in in um on a lot of because on tiktok right now there's a lot of those um uh, you know food reviews or um uh, different secret spots in LA. Now, do you ever just go out and have fun like that? Since I don't drive, I have to kind of make sure that it makes sense, like the distance, because everything is so big here. Um, but yeah, I do sometimes. I tried that coffee hack that everyone was doing. Remember that yeah. that viral whipping coffee thing? <laughs> I tried that. My, my daughter did too, man. That shit sucks. Yeah. I know, yeah, TikTok is really fun. It's so creative with all those things. Um, but yeah, there are definitely like some, some secret spots and everything that I need to go to more that people post about. I'm, I'm excited that um, for when my parents can come and stuff, when my family can be here to, to show them LA, that's gonna be fun. Do you miss home? Um, I think just being able to, or the fact that I can't go there makes me miss it more yeah right now but yeah i definitely miss my parents my family a lot um we talk on the phone all the time we facetime every day that's good like that's a that's really you know to have that family and uh, you know foundation definitely yeah family is so important they've always been so supportive of me which i'm really grateful for they want me to be out here and want me to make music which i'm just so glad to have if they come when they come you should take them to the huntington library it is, it is amazing it um they have like it's so like so huge but they have plants from all over the world huntington, they have plants. what's it called Hunt, huntington library i'm gonna write that down hold on it is it is amazing Thank you so much. I'm gonna think about that. We just took my, uh, we just, I just took my family there on Saturday, and oh, we were cool. so tired. And it was just like so relaxing and fun. 
That's awesome. So they, they might like it. Um, yeah. Um, are you single? Yes, I am. Good. I am. Good. I'm I'm 19 and I feel like I have so much time. Although it would be nice to meet someone, but I feel like I'm just at this point where like I'm not looking if if anyone is on if if it makes sense, it makes sense. I just don't feel like it does. It has to be like a thing where we just meet in the middle and come together. Um I'm honestly just I don't need no man. <laughs> I'm uh, working on my music. <laughs> you need to play with go get it. Yeah, that's um, how I feel. What is your? That's why I tell my daughter too. I always tell, hey, there's no rush. Yeah. It'll always be there. It'll that's always. But your dreams, they come and go. Yes. Yes. You, you, while you have a chance, you need to strike where the iron's hot. Yeah, and it's so unnecessary to just waste energy on people that won't matter in the future. Like if it if it's really good if it makes sense it'll happen, and that's just how I think about it. That's how I too. Yeah. Um, do you have? And this is just in the same vein of that question. Yeah. Um, do you have a type of boy that you look at and like? Hmm. <laughs> well, let me think. Do I have a type? I think my type is like hardworking, funny um <clears throat> charming but i try to i try to be as bland, like as not have a type as much as possible because um i think you can mess it up for you like if you really you know what i mean if you're very focused yeah. on the outside but i honestly to be honest i really don't think about it so much because who would i be meet, meeting who would i be seeing like i'm literally in my house all the time right now because of Corona. I'm not going out dating. It's, it's, I'm just trying to be like at home as much as possible. When you are at home, how is like, are you writing like a mad woman? Yes. You are? Absolutely. Yeah. Like it's weird. Sometimes Vendela, my day to day manager that I live with will just knock on my door and be like, here's some food, like do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that's, that's so good. Like to have that focus, mm -hmm. you know, if you, you're, you are there, you have everything right now. Yeah. I am, I have seen it. And uh, like we, we've been a part of Carrie, Katy Perry's upbringing. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we first met with her, mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it without a shadow of a doubt. I was like, I know that this person, and you are the same way. Thank I you. know it for you. It is going to happen. So I mean, the only thing that can stop you is a boy. So F those guys. You know what I mean? I Go and yeah. get your game. Yeah, I have this song on the EP. Um, my EP is called The Passion, by the way. But I have this song um, called Man's World that I performed for the first time a couple of days ago. I don't know if you saw. I did a little live stream with MTV. They do like a home jam live yes. streams. I sang it there for the first time called Man's World. And I think that song really talks about how like, um, why they, why do they call it a man's world if the boys, the boys don't even make it better in your life. Like your man doesn't even bring you happiness. You really need to focus on yourself and be with someone that elevates you. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. You're pretty wise beyond your years. I like that. Thank you. Um, what is the next moves for you? The next moves for me um, is for sure my EP that I'm really, really excited about. I've been working on it this whole year. I have a couple more music videos to film for it. Um, and I'm just really excited to have a project out to show kind of more more sides of me um because we've seen like the super boppy kind of girls like us me a more retro pop now and i really want to show more of those soulful sides i have a song on there that's a little bit more airy madonna michael jackson i have another one that's really really show off like ballad so i'm just excited to show show all of those sides a little bit more it's gonna be fun Amazing. 
Um, when you are, when, when all is said and done, where do you hope your legacy stands? Like where, where I want to end you, up? Yes. Where, what would you like to 20 years down the line be? 20 years. Let me think. Um, in 20 years. Oh my gosh. How old am I in 20 years? Like 40? Almost 40. I can't believe I'm going to be 40 one day. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in, in 20 years, I really hope that I'm at a place where I can look back and be really proud of all the albums I've made, all the art I've put out in the world. I really hope that I'm at a point where I can give back to my family and the people that have helped me and supported me and been there with me. Um, and then I hope I can help other artists and pave the way for them and give them opportunities. That would be really cool. I mean, you know, I look up to Christina and Mariah and maybe I can be that inspiration for an artist. That would, that's going to be really cool. I can't wait for that. And then, you know, a couple of Grammys wouldn't, but I wouldn't mind a couple of Grammys on the side. <laughs> um, what other music, I um, mean, I, I heard you say, you know, the the legends in the game. Mm -hmm. But is there any other music that you listen to besides those guys, or that really get your your heart moving? Well, I think I think I'm I really like. Okay, so I go in periods. I really like yeah. um, to listen to like other other female pop girls. They really inspire me. Like I love Dua Lipa right now. I think she's done amazing with her album. Um, <clears throat> I love um, sort of like, like pop girls to listen to. And then I'll get tired. Like I'll get tired of what's going on, what, like what's relevant. And I'll just go back to like what I grew up on, which is like, Frank Sinatra, Quincy Jones, like James Brown, Aretha Franklin, um, Janet Jackson. Like, I love, I love to go back to the classics and sort of like get a free refresher. Um, but yeah, I go in periods. Sometimes I'll just listen to like what's on the radio and like what's relevant. Mm -hmm. or I'll go back. It depends. I do the same thing. Like right now, I'm in, I'm really into a band called Sir Sly. Mm, I don't know about them. They are, they're from LA too. They're pretty, I just interviewed them like on Monday. That's awesome. I've always loved them. And mm -hmm. I was just so lucky to have, but you should check them out. They have, uh, they have a couple of good songs out. That's awesome. Um, besides music, and we all love music. Music is yes. who we are and, and yeah. it, it develops us as human beings. But what are what are some of the things you are interested in or you love besides music? Um, I okay, so I'm a little bit of a nerd. Like, I'm really obsessed. I'm honestly really obsessed with music. Like, <laughs> like pr playing, practicing, uh, writing. That's mostly what I do. I w if I'm completely honest. But besides that, if I'm completely taking it away, I'm really passionate about running and working out. I love running. I love boxing. Um, I think that's really fun. And I try to just like take care of myself as much as possible so that I can be good at my music. Like I love to do little self care days where I just like walk around with a face mask and, and um, take care of myself. But I would say definitely working out is another passion of mine i really love um i haven't worked out in so long because of the gyms yes I agree. yeah i mean i'm definitely not as i'm not as consistent as i was but i mean as long as you do your best i feel like that's that's what matters but that is definitely a passion of mine yeah me too i'm just fat right now because of COVID. <laughs> And that's okay. That's okay. Hey, there's time. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, you know, everything is, um, it, it stops soon, you know? Yeah. 
I'm honestly, you know, something I'm also really, really passionate about is is uh, fashion and, and oh, no. hair and makeup and stuff. I love to try different makeup looks, different hair looks. I love to do my friends' hair and makeup um, and style them and look at fun, like, interesting brands that I can support. I love to kind of tap into fashion and hair and makeup. I think that's really fun too. Have you met anybody from the area that you've like, oh, I have a friend now? Um, from like fashion or hair and makeup? No, just anywhere in, um, in Southern California. Oh, any friends? Yes. Well. It's gotta be hard, especially 19 yeah. years old, coming to a whole new continent, yeah. you know? I don't, I'm, I've never been that type of person that has a lot of friends. Um, I think I'm just better at, at like having a small circle, mm -hmm. but I, I, uh, I have my roommate and my amazing day-to-day -day manager, Vendela, that I work with. We, I mean, we've kind of just become this thing where we do everything together now because of that we live together, but I'm really grateful for her. And then I have one friend that I met this year that's also Swedish randomly that I've been spending a lot of time with. That's cool. Uh, it's cool to kind of connect with the Swedes that are in LA. Um, but I haven't really, I mean, it was, it was such weird timing. I was working like a crazy person last year. So I didn't meet anyone and I didn't have time to become close with anyone and then everything shut down. So. It was kind of weird timing. I didn't really have the time to connect. What kind of food are you into? I'm really into um, sushi. Love sushi. Love um, Vietnamese food. I also love like salads and fish. I mean, I can do like a couple, I can cook a couple things. Fish is like high on, on the list because it's so simple. <laughs> The, is there a big difference um, between Swedish meatballs in the United States and from Sweden? I don't actually eat meat anymore, but oh, when I did, yeah, uh, very, is. very big, very big. Um, I think food in general here compared to Sweden is like big, like so portions are huge. Yeah, like Sweden is super. I'm I'm really used to just eating really plain. Um, like you can basically read all the ingredients, you know, what's in it. Like nothing is weird here. I'll just eat like a random salad and feel like I can't get enough because it's so good. Like it's addictive. It's like something in the food that is so addictive, but. That's I mean, a game now huh? with every company. You know, no. Social media addiction, uh, yeah. food addiction. It's and it's, unless like, you know how we're talking about working out I like I love working out but I just haven't been able to yeah I notice when I'm working out I don't want to eat shitty food I'm the same but now it's been so much more tempting yeah it's like eh, fuck it yeah exactly <laughs> exactly uh, all right um i just but I wanted to just I remembered uh, about the friends you asked me about a friend question I I really feel like I've become really close with my fans lately. Like they feel like my friends, even I talk to them on Twitter a lot. I talk to them in group chats, I DM them. And they're so cool and it's funny. And like, I feel like they're really, that's like a really genuine connection for me. I feel like I've had time to be close to them. Yeah. Awesome. So I am just grateful and, and blessed to have had the, the opportunity to be on the front end of, of your success. And Thank I know you. that you are a, it's gonna go high. Yeah. Uh, so thank you. And I asked for one favor before we go. Yeah. So when I first, when I married, uh, met Katy Perry mm -hmm. and we interviewed her and mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, it's gonna happen. You have to promise to come back and do another interview. <laughs> well, she refuses to do another interview. I'm gonna ask the same thing from you okay you have to, when once you get big we would love to have you and our um to have you back on the magazine put you on the cover of course um, we support you anything you, you. you need we will take care Thank of you, you or 600 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really um, thankful that, that you believe in me. Thank you so much. And I would love to come back in a couple of years. That would be really fun. Or even, even whenever you want. <laughs> Uh, well, we are we are definitely we work with your company and and um, they're awesome people and we're so Love grateful. Them. They're amazing. Um, is there anything that you would like people to know before we? Yeah, I would I would say that would be my EP, um, uh, the passion. I've announced the name now, and it's coming in October. I'm very excited about it, and. I would be really happy if they wanted to follow me on my social media and on my Spotify. Um, yeah, that would be it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank right, you. Have yourself a good day. Uh, I will, I'm going to, I'll start following you on the IG. Yes. And if, if you want, I have on my IG, I take my family to a lot of different places in LA mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Follow me. You can have little like uh, tips on where you can go take your family. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, and say hi to your daughter for me too. I will. She she loves you. I just texted her right now before I took. Oh my god! Send it to her. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, well, tell her I said hi, and it was lovely to talk to you. It was. Thank you. Yeah. Be safe out there. Of course. Have an amazing day. You as well. Bye. Bye.